All right. Um, this isn't one of my best videos, I guarantee you. Um, this is one of my worst games. But don't blame me. I just got out of the hospital. Okay? This is what this video is to talk about. Okay? Uh, I actually did end up getting third in this game. At the end, we don't get to see the whole game because this thing only records five minutes. But, um, I'm just here to talk about what just happened to me. Um, well, yesterday, I just did some stupid shit at school. Um, I found a paint can of paint. I took it back to school. I chucked it on the ground. Blew up. I got pretty big shit for that. And the teacher was, the principal was saying some pretty bad shit about me. Or well, not bad shit, but she was saying shit about me. And I told her, you don't know me. Like, I'm fucking crazy. And I've never told this to anybody before this except for one of my friends. So, this is fucking really hard for me to release. But, um, uh, I'm just saying that you guys should know more about me. Um, and she's like, what do you mean? I didn't want to tell her, but she made me. And, um, well, for most of my life, I've been hearing voices in my head. There's two of them. One of them tells me to do good things, the other one tells me to fucking kill people and do really fucking fucked up shit. Like, really fucked up shit. Like, tell me to cut people's Achilles tendons and make and watch them crawl around to the ground till they bleed and die. Which is one of the most painful ways to die. Um, but other way, um, otherwise. But, yeah, I went to the hospital, um, because they recommended that I needed, um, psychiatrist. And my mother took me to the hospital, and I went there. Um, it was a brand new hospital. Man, this hospital is big. Like, if you cut the um, Empire State Building in half, I live in Canada, but um, if you cut the Empire State Building in half and then laid it, I know that was really fucked up that train. Um, if you cut it in half and then laid it side by side, that's about how wide it is. Well, maybe a little bit less than that, but. And it's really tall, too. This is like an amazingly big hospital. I don't remember the name, but it was a ginormous hospital and it just got built. Um, but, and I talked to the crisis nurse. She, she, she made me stay for the entire night because the psychologist was going to come the next morning. Um, it was really annoying. I had to stay there the entire night. It really pissed me off. But... Um, my mother stayed with me the whole time because it was really boring. I was locked in this big room, or not big room, it was like a regular size room with this big three inch steel door. And that was unlocked, but then there was this hallway with a big 360, well not 360, about 180 degree mirror or window that all the nurses could see you. This is like the crazy ward where no one is allowed to leave. All the doors are locked and there's these big, again, three inch um, steel door is locked and you have to get the nurses to open them. Um, it was a really bad night for me. I talked to the, they made me stay there until the psychologist came in the morning, which really, because they, apparently they didn't trust me, um, when really I haven't done anything to myself for all my life. I've had this basically all my life and I mean, sure, I've had depression and stuff. I've had a lot of depression and I've had a bit of anxiety, but, um, I know people are way worse off than me, I know. I'm not trying to um, make people feel bad, I'm just saying, putting this out there so people know me better, okay? And for more awareness for mental health. I know Bell is doing the mental health thing, uh, I'm not trying to publicize them, but I'm just saying, um, it's very great, um, and I'm just trying to get awareness for mental health though as well, but, for mental health, not mental health. Um, because it's a very big problem right now. And it was overlooked for so many years, and now it's becoming a really big problem. With all the stress and jobs and schools now, it's becoming a problem. So, that was basically my night. I talked to my friends. I, I was gonna, they were gonna make me stay in the child area, although I'm 13, whatever. I guess, that's, I guess that one with their age is not. Uh, but they didn't have enough room, so they made us stay in the crazy hallway instead of the crazy child area, but this is just a story, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it, and well, please like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.